The yard operates uh, since 131 years and uh, works with Damon uh, since 25 years. Markets of, uh, of the shipyards are uh, naval, uh, luxury yachting and uh, commercial. The shipyard is uh, located in the southeastern part of uh, Romania on the Danube River at uh, mile 80. Our main customers are uh, naval uh, customers. Uh, European and non-European, NATO and non-NATO, and uh, but also luxury uh, customers, and uh, our main customer in luxury is uh, Damon Yachting. Pema Solution is our first investment in uh, process automation. It's used for uh, welding of mini panels and uh, includes uh, a stiffeners assembly station, welding station, and also well service station, service portal. I think automation is uh, the step that uh, any shipyard should take uh, from the production perspective, but also from the support departments. It's a new step that needs to happen, especially in a very conservative uh, industry like uh, shipbuilding. 2024, that's uh, the automation and uh, whatever it's related to automation, it's, uh, it's giving more and more impact in, uh, in the shipbuilding. And we as Daman Galati, we are looking forward, let's say, opportunities to invest and to increase our uh, efficiency as well the quality. So in my opinion, there is a lot of uh, room for improvement and Daman Galati is looking for this, uh, for this room to, to be filled in. We integrated uh, this solution in our steel processing uh, factory and um, we expect good improvements of, uh, of efficiency of the process, but mainly it's dedicated to replace the workforce which is not available anymore on the market. The solution is not to get rid of people, the solution is to be used for people which are not available anymore on the market. In my opinion, this is the biggest advantage for, uh, for the yard and for the labor, because as we know, the labor is it's, uh, it's more and more hard to find. And uh, the young people, they are uh, being a hard industry, they are not so willing to come in, uh, in this industry, at least how, uh, uh, in a traditional way. Actually, you don't train welders anymore, you train operators. And the tendency is to put a welder to operate the machine because it's about welding, but actually the machine is replacing the welder and the welder can be used somewhere else where it's mostly necessary. You see our kids are working with their phones from the very big, it's like, you know, they burn with their, with their phone in uh, their hands. So, um, we give them the chance to use these skills, which actually the, they already experienced on the young age with screens and touch screens, so it's getting, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's attractive for, uh, for the young people, uh, labor, so yeah. It's very important to know what you need and how that solution fits in your processes. And of course, managing expectations is extremely important. There is a, a lot of tendency of people to expect more than the line can offer. And actually managing expectations are extremely important. Whatever uh, it's PEMA it's used, it's a constant quality, that's, that's for sure. Um, from the productivity point of view, as I said, so for me the big advantage is uh, the productivity. You can uh, clearly estimate uh, the time, hours spent and how much you can build in that space. So it's not only about um, efficiency, it's also about predictability. The shipyard chose uh, PEMA uh, because of the reputation because of the price and also because uh, the solution fits our expectation. To choose the right automation partner, of course, need to, to meet your expectation. Yeah, so it's about uh, technical, it's about quality, it's about uh, um, foreseen, forecast, and, uh, but most important, what gives you for your employees, yeah? What brings you at, uh, as uh, benefits. Yeah, so all uh, these are the, the parts which we need to look for. But uh, with PEMA and with uh, new automatization, uh, the operational, the, let's say, will go more and more from the, um, from the hard work to 
operating tools. So I think this is the future.